Hello. Is this to benefit the victims from Maui? You know the people that got yeah, burned to know. death? Yeah. I'm burned alive, sure. actually? No, this is not that. No. Ah, okay. Excuse me. Is there a vigil for the victims of the Maui wildfires? Anywhere in Central Park? I checked some stage, it's not that. You, can try, you know what I'm talking about, you right? You probably try at uh, Grand Army Plaza. Usually they have stuff down there. All right. So. But you know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? The people that burnt alive. It's yeah. terrible, you know? Yeah, I went down all the way to Times Square. Can't find uh, any vigils or anything like that. Okay. You don't find that sad, man? Of course I find it sad, but like, I really, I can't, you know, put up a vigil myself, you know what I mean? Neither me. Yeah. That's why I thought collectively. Yeah. That'd be nice and collectively. Have a good one. I, do you guys know where the vigil is for the people that got burnt alive in Maui? Say that uh, again, sir. What is it? The people that got burnt to death in Maui. There's a vigil for them somewhere. Um, I, I don't know, but... You know what I'm talking about, Yes, yes, right? the Maui event. Yeah. Maybe something I around thought, here. Okay. There is a church around here. Maybe that's it. Um, maybe. I'm not so sure. Excuse me, guys. Do you know where the vigil for the victims of the Maui wildfire is? No. No? You wouldn't happen to know where the vigil for the Maui wildfire victims are? No? You know the little children that got burnt alive? Yeah. And the government is covering it up? Gotcha. No, I don't know no? where that is. Okay. We busted our ass. And this is what we get. No water, no warning. And everybody talking about the satellite city before the fire. Well, hey, Jeff Bezos, you got what you wanted. Oprah, you got what you wanted. Fuck us all over. That's what happened. Okay. We need help in Lahaina. Because all we got so far was $700, and we don't know who to call or anything. People in Lahaina are angry, like other people have testified. We don't trust the government because of what has happened. Why did the police block people from coming and exiting? They had lines of people lined on Front Street. We heard testimony from people on top of Facebook that said, and, and things that said that basically the police was blocking the road over there by Chart House. And hundreds of people were backed up there with people in their cars, and they, a lot of people lost their lives. I was told by people who escaped there on foot that the officer had blocked the road, people could not get out. My brother literally had to go cut the chain off of the old um, sugar mill camp area to let people out at the top of Kelowell Malka. And that's how people got out because the roads were all blocked because the police were blocking it. It needs to be investigated by a third party that is not associated with the government. Right now, there's gross negligence, possibly criminal negligence on this part. Folks are still in active mourning, literally trying to stay alive. And in that... Excuse me, guys. There's a vigil for the... Maui wildfire victims. You know the people that got burnt alive? You're not interested? They're little kids that got burnt alive and the government is covering it up. So you're not interested in that, right? Okay, good to know. Hi, good day, sir. Do you know where the vigil is for the victims of the Maui wildfires? You know, the little kids that I got burnt alive? I, yeah, I, I don't think this parish is doing anything. Well, somebody I, told me, check the church. Well, 
You might go in the next entrance where there's a receptionist who knows everything that's going on in the parish house, right. and they might be able to tell you if something's going on. But um, there's a service at six o'clock, but it's our normal six o'clock service. Thank you. You're welcome. Folks are still in active mourning, literally trying to stay alive. And in that is a collective rage. And I don't say that lightly. There is a collective rage that a lot of this feels like a setup. A lot of this feels like, I'm not talking conspiracy theory, like somebody went and lit the fire. I'm talking about this is the result of a decades and generations long conversation that West Maui has had with people in charge between Miko and the power lines and the fire response and the water department not communicating to people that there is a problem with their water properly, between the sirens not going up, off people are pissed and it's justifiable. And in the face of all of that and the feeling, the palpable feeling in the couple of days after this disaster that we are on our own, we have nobody is coming to save us. We've been asking for help for decades and nobody's coming to save us. And so now we're gonna feed and water and medicine ourselves. And now a few weeks in agencies and government people are starting to come in and be like, we have the answer and we have these protocols that you have to follow and here's our policies. And people are like, get lost. Why would I trust you after you put our town in this position and after you left us for dead and now you come in and you tell us how to do things. It's insulting. I'm not even from there and I'm shaking with anger because I see it happen every day and I just cannot handle. The same people that made the decision for about water and electric that trapped all these people are now the ones that are being asked to be trusted to build the solution. It's really hard to trust the agencies that put you in this very position to get you out of it. The urgency of the situation in the beginning was gasoline, water, food, and everybody was so slow. And now all of a sudden people are talking about rebuilding. Like that's the most urgent thing. The most urgent thing right now is getting people in some kind of shelter. The urgency about having this rebuild conversation when people still don't have roofs over their heads. People don't even have the space to talk about rebuilding because they don't know where they're gonna be in, in two weeks. Hello. Hey man, do you know where there's a vigil for the victims of the Maui wildfires? No. Not here? No. You know what I'm talking about, right? No. Apparently some like thousands of people got burnt alive in Maui from a wildfire. Recently. August 8th. Okay. So they told me there was gonna be a vigil all right but you haven't heard about that no the, oh okay thank you excuse me did you guys see a vigil for the maui wildfire victims anywhere no no thank you excuse me do you know if there's a vigil for the Maui wildfire victims anywhere? No? Excuse me, do you guys know about a vigil for the Maui wildfire victims? You didn't see anything around there? I'm still looking it up. Sorry. No, a vigil for the Maui wildfire victims? You know, the people that got burned to death? Uh, you haven't seen anything? No. Okay.
Uh, guys, did you see a vigil for the Maui wildfire victims anywhere? Like a break. Hey! How are you? Good man, I haven't seen it for a while. I'm around. Where are you? Moment of silence for the Maui victims as well? No, they don't have this, so it's not for that. No? You know about the victims who are burned alive? Yeah, I know about Yeah, I know about Didn't they have a moment of silence for them? I don't know, I'm not in there. You didn't hear them get quiet? No, I didn't hear nothing. No, this is disabled. Yeah. Did they have the moment of silence for the Maui victims? Huh? You know the Maui wildfire victims? The huh. people who got burnt alive? Uh, did no. they have the moment of silence for them? Oh, well, I don't know. I think they did. You heard yeah. them go quiet? Yeah. For like a minute? Yeah, of course. Oh, I missed it then. I think they did. What concert is this? They're having a Brazilian concert there. Brazilian? Yeah. And what is this venue called? Summer Stage. Thank you. Thank you. All right, man. So it Sorry happened already. That. have a moment of silence for the people who got burnt alive in Maui? Not here? Silence for the Maui victims. 
You know the people who got burned? I don't know nothing about that. I don't know anything about that. What I do know is that we will be honoring Seneca Village October 14th, 2000. I don't know if you know, familiar with Seneca Village. October 14th, 2023. We're in the Haitian community from Manhattan and New York City will be there in representation. Where? As far as Seneca Village. No, oh, As far as Maui is concerned, we need to reach out to the Oprah Winfrey's, the Morgan Freemans, because Somehow, some way, their land did not get affected by what happened in Maui. Let's talk about that. Do you know what a vigil is from Maui? The vigil for the Maui fire victims. Hey, uh, Roscoe, you need to think about uh, the fire victims. Uh, a vigil, a vigil for the Maui fire victims. Hey, no. Google it. Google it. You, you, you had something from the somewhere in Central Park. It should tell you where. Vigil, it's a grassroots thing, so. If you don't have a permit, they move you around. So. Hey, fuck you, Hector. You know what happened in Maui, right? Yeah. No, I didn't. I cut off a news two years ago. I'm tired of hearing news. That's, you know, I mean, it's real stuff. But it's too much. I can't. Let's jump. What happened? Fire just burned to like the house. This one and not that one. This one and not that one. too high and drunk.
Hey man, do you know where the vigil is for the Maui wildfire victims? Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me see. I have the email. When was it? 31st. Oh, shit. I could have sworn it, there was one today. Where I, was it? If there is, I don't, I don't know. Uh, 328 West 86. But really? It's not, it says 31st. Oh, so it wasn't Central Park. Maybe there's one today that we don't know about. But this was All the right. one that I got. All right, man. Thank you. Take care. Do you know where the vigil is for the Maui wildfire victims? That is not, that is above my pay grade, sorry, I don't know. No? All right. You didn't see anything around here, right? No. to get out to where people and the roads were closed. People could not get food, they could not get medicine for two to three days. We're not gonna wait for Red Cross to go and get our people, we will get our own. People are still grieving, they're in shock, they don't even know how to fill out paperwork. Oh please, can you go online and get your numbers? They don't know how to do that. They didn't even have, they don't have access, they don't have internet. How about those people when they had to go get help, they evacuated, but they didn't know we have hubs at the Haina Gateway or in the PD. What are they gonna do, walk 30 minutes for the, to get there? I lost my office building in town and a family property. And I want you to know, there's families hiding. There, there's families hiding in the Pili and Kahana and Hanukkah. They lost their homes. They lost their will to live. Um, I am testifying on my concerns of the governor's um, emergency proclamation that happened three weeks prior to the fire and how it suspended seven state statutes to streamline development on Maui and it is allocated all decision-making power to one person. One person on Oahu is currently meeting with developers, meeting with private landowners, and is not meeting with the public. The Maui Tenants Association has a hotline. We've been receiving call after call of people who are being asked to be evicted by their landlords. People who are being displaced during a time of emergency when their house was like the only house standing in their neighborhood. I am the CEO of a charity group called Red Lightning. We are internationally recognized since 2010, and we study disasters. In our response, we, we had difficulty getting in to the disaster zone originally. There were, there were checkpoints set up. We were trying to bring these systems in. We were, we were turned around a couple times. I have made every effort to become a member of the, the EOC, to coordinate with them, and I've been turned around every time. And people are living there with no connectivity and they can't call if they have an emergency and you are turned away from putting in a Starlink so that they could be able to call for help if they need it. 
that is correct. We we were told that because we're not recognized by the EOC, we, we do not have access. Um, I think there was one in Cahoma Village. It's sort of down by Front Street. We were denied there as well. There were a number of families that we that asked for help. We couldn't we could not reach them. We were blocked out from coming back into Lahaina. I was blocked out several days. I could not come in. It was chaos. People was rioting at the at the stops. We're wondering what's on those documents for FEMA. And we're afraid to sign documents because right after that, the governor says, oh, I'm going to take the land, right? He's talking about our, the state wants to purchase all this land and come in and open it for the working class and also work for a memorial and things like that. Who the hell does he think that he should get this land? This land belongs to the people already. Okay. The Thank government you. is, wait, the government is liable for this, grossly negligent, at least if not criminally negligent, right? And they should clean up all that land, restore that land to the people who own that because they failed here. They failed. The government failed. I, as well as my ohana, are survivors of the line of fire that happened on 8-8. I left my house with just the clothes on my back. Um, personally, as a victim, it takes a lot to get through one task in a day. Knowing that people are making decisions for us is hard because although some may be in our best interest of our communities, others may not. I've been working with the Mauna Medics, which I co-founded in 2017. And we've been working as the medical branch of uh, body rapid response. And we're trying to bring some little sense of stability and calm in a very, very frenetic situation. I've been doing this for 13 years. I've never seen a local response like this ever. I've done it all over the world. I've never seen it like here for the Hawaiian people. But today, we, I'm standing before you and speaking on behalf of the vulnerable people who cannot make it to the hubs. We have placed about 70 Starlink, Starlink units. We have another 53 on order. I'm going to give you the name and the number of our operations manager, and, and as well as tomorrow, we work very, very closely with her. If you know of anybody who is vulnerable and has been cut off and is unable to communicate, we want to know who they are so we can get them set up and that they can at least make requests for things that they need, medicine, water, food, things of that nature.